Welcome back to Lowbrow Gaming. My name is Lars and this is Beholder by Warm Light Games. Commonly referred to as a Papers, Please and Fallout Shelter mashup. Let's just continue with our mission objectives. But first, let's check out the mailbox because it has an exclamation point. Deadwood! The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all its forms. Alright, voice of truth. The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas en masse proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past if we want to prog progress and initiate a dialogue between the people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Hmm. Mm. Okay, let's repair apartment two. There we go. Uh, all these directives are going to be hell to pay attention to. And that's where the papers please uh, comparison comes in. Right, is it is illegal to use foreign currency. It is illegal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. It is illegal to sing in front of the Minister of Order. And it is illegal to... Uh, Produce drugs uh, and use them, I guess. All apples must be destroyed. Uh, illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. Fine. Uh, move in. Right, who do we want to move in? A doctor, age 47. Famous cardio surgeon looking for a long term rental. Guaranteed to be a decent tenant. Jones Popanedo. Coal barge bosom. Will rent a cuddy for a couple of weeks. Let's have the doctor move in, right? I mean, he's bound to do something illegal. Uh, right, well, let's call the mentor and report the completion of the previous task. Oh. The moving in of the uh, citizen, I guess, is the report. Let's check out these after. Check out the furniture. Dial the number. Report the task. Ministry of Order! Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. $1,000 and 250 reputation points. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you are dying, you understand? Yeah. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenant's opinions on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work! Okay. That which is hidden will be revealed. Trust and care. Okay, uh, we have two missions here. I haven't been paying much attention to my family lately. I should talk with them. Alright, let's talk to wife. What, Carl? Domestic problems. I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this. You must have left it in your old house. If you say so. Could you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll say I'll make a com compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. <sighs> Sorry. Grumble. Let's see. Shimmer. We are supposed to find out more about Shimmer. Let's have a look at the wardrobe. Ah, my son was standing right behind me. Didn't even see him. Uh, old doll. My wife played with this doll as a child. Now our daughter does. She calls it Naira, even though that name is more suitable for a cat. Comb. It's just a comb. And an old one of that. Let's talk to son before he walks away. Yes, father. That's, uh, do you need anything? I have an issue, father. What do you want? Economics classes have started. and We were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore and they don't have the books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these, has these books. You talk to wise people? I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Okay. Um, missions, missions. Talk with the son, talk with the daughter. Anna wants to borrow a pot from the neighbors. And we need to find books on economics. Have the directives changed again? Let's scroll. Uh, foreign currencies. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's end this conversation. 
Our daughter is sleeping. Let's have a look at what she has in her drawer. Oh, there she is. Awake. Uh, toothbrush. Book. Dates, names, other info, nothing interests. <laughs> Patriotic tales for kids. Stacking toy. And a wallet containing very little money. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Naira. It's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my favourite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? At home. Naira is too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Right, we know where Naira is. Naira's in here. Right? Boom. Take it. And then return it to our child. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Talk about the doll. What's your doll's name? You miss Naira so much. Will you find her? I already found her. Here she is. Thanks, Dad. I thought of a great game. You want me to tell you about it? Naira will be a miner buried under rubble and I'll be the rescuer. What a game. Maybe you'd better play with your letter blocks. I'll build a coal mine out of letter blocks. Whee! Right, so she's playing. Uh, our son needs books and we need to figure out what people think about Mr. 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 Something or other. What do you want from the archivist? I want to get acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Ranek is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Let's talk about Klaus Schimmer. I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. Why do you want to know? Mm, vague reply. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who was always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. Ask what happened to this uh, friend. He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Hold on. What do you want from the archivist? I want to ask about some books. Mr. Mark, you're an educated person. Where can I find textbooks on economics? The university gave my son a list of books to study, but none of the stores carry them. The library is an option, but there is, but there's always a line. What's wrong with the library? It's quiet in there. It's a nice place for a young man to spend time. Can't just spend your money on something more useful than books. Thanks, Bert. I doubt my son appreciates your advice. Let's ask about the saucepan. Do you have a big saucepan? My wife wants to make a compote. My wife usually cooks soup, but to be honest, her saucepan is rather small. Alright, ask about the wife. Rosa works in the cafeteria. Always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cakes so much. Ah, shit. I skipped the rest of it because I thought I was supposed to click it. I wish it didn't smell like cabbage. Okay. Mm, this is wife then. Can't talk to her because she's waiting for the bus, I guess. And this is Klaus Schimmer right here. Let's talk to Klaus himself. See what he has to say. Hello! Um, no, let's not ask about suspicions. Let's ask about books. You're an educated person, Klaus. Where can I find textbooks on economics? University gave us a list of books to read, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the issue with the library is well known to me. It's just... Well, let's change the accent. It's not just a line. It's the, the library workers also have to like you. Otherwise, they'll send you away without any explanation. But I can help you. I have books from when I worked for the counting bureau. I'd be happy if they helped your son study. Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad few people agree. Ha, huh, you saved my son. Thank you, Klaus. Awesome. We have books in our inventory. And Klaus has uh, now gained a bit of sympathy in our book. Has he not? Let's... Uh, oh, shit. I... Uh... Oh, yeah. You've saved my son. And not only my son, but my wallet, too. Uh, saucepan. Maybe you'll help us with that, too. Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? You better talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issues or di dishware. I have to work in a tobacco shop now. Ceilings are so low, I have to tilt my head. I used to work as a senior economist. Those days are long gone. Mm, okay, and conversation. All the best, Carl. All right, he likes us. I kind of like him too. It's going to be too bad when we end up arresting him. Okay, let's talk to the new doctor. 
Uh, Aloysius Spack. Uh, hello. Um, yes, hello. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. I'm honor. I'm Dr. Aloysius Spack, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. Um, must be polite. Uh, of course I heard. Please don't praise me. I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty. Um, that's great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. Okay, let's ask the class shipper. Dearest Carl, I'm happy to see you. How are you doing? How is the family? Everything is fine, thanks. Uh, I just wanted to ask about... Oh, so much joy. That's a rare thing nowadays. I'm soothing myself. Aloysius. Um, I'm here to talk about... Aloysius, you can't keep worrying about the whole world. The state takes care of us. Uh, about your neighbor? No, I keep worrying about our neighbors. I mean, all people. You know. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I got carried away. So what did you want to talk about? Uh, about Klaus Schimmer from apartment one. Oh, I just moved in here, dear. I haven't met all of my neighbors yet. I'm sure they're all great people and your um, um, Strauss healer is a great man too. Klaus Schimmer. Of course. Uh, if only dear Mr. Schlimber smoked less. Right, he smokes a lot. Smoking kills. Okay. Klaus smokes. And he's in apartment one. Now he's leaving. So let's enter his. Oh, the wife might be home. No, wife's not home. Let's enter Klaus's flat. Sneaky cheeky. Oh! The doctor sees me enter. No? There we go. So let's enter. Bus is back. Let's have a look, see here. Make sure Klaus. Right. Eyeglasses. Frames are cheap and have been repaired several times. Chess piece made of onyx. Oh, shimmer. She's gonna come in here. Let's uh let's just have a chat. Oh, hello. Hello, my name's Carl. I'm the new building manager. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Schimmer. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. Uh, let's see. Ask about the saucepan. Can you do me a favor? Can I borrow your saucepan? My wife wants to make a compot, but we lost our saucepan. Saucepan moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. Are <laughs> you just carrying it around? <laughs> nice. Thank you, we'll bring it back. Oh, there's no need for this. My husband and I live alone and we don't touch this. Please accept this as my housewarming gift. Oh, she's also very nice. Hello. Let's ask about the husband. How's your husband doing? He looked upset. Oh, he doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Klaus likes taking photos. This will cheer him up. Okay. Are we, are we profiling? Oh yeah, he likes to take photos, he likes to smoke, and he likes to play chess, so we've collected all this information. Good, here comes our son. Let's talk to him and give him some books. Let's hope the phone isn't ringing. Oh, we can zoom out. Yes, father. Uh, talk about uh, school books. Have you found out anything about the books, father? Where are your books? Wow, I'll get to work! I've never even dreamed of such wealth. I might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. Awesome. Now, we should also talk to wife at some point. We can't get into the flat right now. Unless... Oh, is this... Mrs. Shimmer? Is it? No, this is wife, isn't it? Anna Stein. Mm -hmm. What, Carl? Uh, saucepan. Have you found a saucepan, Carl? I've prepared everything for the compote. Yes, Maria Shimmer from apartment one saved us. Spare no sugar for the compote. It looked like water last time. It looks like water because we have neither sugar nor apples. It's not my fault that you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. All right. We have a tree. Uh, we have um, done one of the missions. I need to talk to Rosa Ranek. Where'd she go? There she is. Good afternoon. Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rose Rannock. 
It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. We have a son too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Huh. Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. What's about the husband? Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Right, let's ask about Klaus. I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. Does he bother you? He is a person of worth. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of dairies. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Okay. Uh, finally did everything I could for my family. They are happy. Uh, oh, I have completed my task and collected information on Klaus Schimmer. So let's give them a ring, shall we? Here we go. Uh, no? Reference. What would you like to know? Not supposed to... De I mean... Ah, I must profile Klaus Schimmer. I'm not done. Okay. Um, hmm. We need to get in there and install some cameras, don't we? This is Maria Shima. I had my opportunity now. Oh, new government directive. Imported soda is prohibited. Where did she go? She's in here. Here she is. She's reading. Ah, oh, so this our class is there. Right, he's reading illegal books. That's what he's doing. And we're going to have to arrest him for that. Following our own personal directives, we will uh, do our job to the point, but we will protect our family if they do anything illegal. Okay, letter. This envelope contains a letter. Uh, okay, watch. Nothing, 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 nothing. I mean, we can... A tenant's personal diary. Take it and maybe sell it to uh, the dude outside. Tenant's personal diner. Let's just do that. Let's see if we can find anything else. And uh, at the same time, try to make sure. Oh, razor. Keep it as carrying case. Uh, towels and letters. Take one of them. Sell it. We don't need two razors, I think. Bouncy ball, towels. Oh, something's happening here. 